Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I was actually barred from coming up here, but um, I hope you'll lend me your ears. We need a revolution in funding to eradicate tuberculosis. We call on the Global Fund and partners to increase the, the amount of funds allocated to tuberculosis by $2.9 billion per year without jeopardizing funding to HIV and malaria and other diseases. The increase of funds will contribute to ensuring that the current tuberculosis tools are used efficiently and effectively to combat TB. In addition, the funds will secure research and development of more efficacious drugs and treatment regimens that are well tolerated and patient friendly. We anticipate that increased funding will enable the development of rapid and reliable TB diagnostic tools that can easily be used in low resource settings, particularly in the African region. We hope that the funds will also jumpstart TB national programs to collaborate with social welfare departments so that social enablers are provided during TB treatment, since TB disproportionately affects the poor, who often have limited access to nutritional, water, nutritional food, water, and transportation, all of which are necessary for treatment adherence. We envision that the funds will adequately cover access to TB treatment and care for key population groups, including those infected with MDR-TB. If we do not treat all, we cannot end it all. Selective treatment of patients is a violation of human rights and a burden on the public health system, which should not be tolerated. We urge the Global Fund to rethink its funding allocation to a needs-based allocation as opposed to World Bank economic classification of countries into lower, middle, and upper income. Middle income countries disproportionately bear the burden of TB, are home to large numbers of poor people, and often have health budgets similar to those of low income countries. The exit of Global Fund from Eastern Europe and Central Asia due to the middle income status, a region with a high MDRTB burden will severely affect MDRTB patients and increase MDRTB incidence since country budgets in this region have not increased to fill the global fund gap. We urge the Global Fund to raise more funds for TB and encourage partners, including the private sector, as well as the financial institutions, to fund tuberculosis. Our message is simple. We want a bigger slice of the cake for TB. This shouldn't detract from important work being done on HIV and malaria. Instead, we need a bigger cake to fight all three diseases. Thank you.